Vanessa Gonzalez with Albuquerque Plumbing, Heating and Cooling. Join me on our shop tour while I show you things that are different and are gonna blow your mind. Come on, why are you waiting? So this is the lobby. So this is a picture of the three people that started Albuquerque Plumbing, Heating and Cooling. You might recognize the blonde in the middle. So this is the three people that founded, started everything from the ground up. So growing up, I wanted to be an FBI agent. I wanted to be president. If you had told 12-year-old Vanessa, you're gonna have an HVAC company plumbing, you're gonna do home services. I'd be like, uh, what's home services? You mean like swamp coolers? I would have had no idea. So what I learned the hard way, I've held every position in the company all the way down from the janitor, all the way up to being an apprentice and a technician. This is our war room. It's not smart to come in without a Nerf gun anywhere in the property because you might get pegged by a Nerf dart. It's one of the things we do to keep it fun around here. We are also a very green company. This is recycled plain parts that we found and we made at our conference room table. These are the pictures of all of our previous locations. 2008, we were working out of an apartment. And this is where the dream started. We started in 2008. My husband was let go from a contracting business that he worked with. Matt called me and said that he bought a van. My first thought is, oh, biscuits, that savings. We have a baby on the way. What is he thinking? He was thinking that he was gonna step out on faith and that he was gonna build something that he always wanted to be a part of. So sitting down, talking with him, Anthony came over and we celebrated the start of a new beginning. So one of the favorite things we have here at the company is our Super Mario wall. A local graffiti artist painted this wall for us. We took words that the team said described Albuquerque plumbing to them. So integrity is one of our core pillars. You should probably talk about the elephant in the room. I had no technical knowledge before we started the company and I'm obviously female, right? This is not what you expect when you see somebody on a blue collar job site. So I went with Matt and Anthony on job sites. I delivered parts, I looked at invoices. I made a lot of mistakes, but what that allowed me to do is to lead our team and tell them it's okay to fail forward, keep moving forward, keep learning. So next we're gonna go to one of the rooms I've spent a lot of time in. It's our call center. It's the brain, the front line. So it's very dim in there. So get ready for your night vision, okay? Here we go. The turning point was our old software. It was great for the old company, but if we wanted to be a new company, we had to do something different. And we signed up a Service Titan. We started to see our revenue goals get higher and us achieve them. We have had more million dollar months on Service Titan than we have ever before. You might have heard of the Stairway to Heaven. We have a very similar thing. It's our Stairway to Accounting, so let's go check it out. This is where all the pretty faces are kept. One thing you'll notice is we have a couple younger members of the accounting team. One of the cool things about Albuquerque Plumbing is we want to get to know you and your family. That's why we were recognized for family-friendly business practices. They even have their own desks, right? That's how important the kids are to us here. Amita, Amita, look. I said this and then she goes, ah! <laughs> the crazy thing they don't know is this is the stuff we do even when there's not cameras. This is our gym. So this is one of the other great parts that we have at our office, not just the Nerf battles, but this is how we get the muscles to do the amazing things in the Nerf battles. And then towards the back, we have what we call our lounge area with an Xbox, PS3, and all other kinds of things that techs like to do when they're not working. Being a trailblazer in this industry is a huge honor. It's gonna allow the next generation to say, you know what, we can go further. We can be welders, we can be electricians, we can be mechanics. It opens it up much wider for everybody. Trades don't have a gender. Welcome to the assets department. Let's see what kind of trouble everybody's getting into today. This is where we prepare every technician's order, get it ready to go to our customers, where we have all of the equipment that we could need on any job site. We're gonna get up every morning and we're gonna pursue our excellence in everything we do. We have every customer treated like their family. And when you do that and you treat the team like family, they take care of each other like family. That's what makes us different. And that has allowed us to have the unprecedented growth that we've had. 116 people currently working with us, 67 trucks rolling out, Service Titan allowing us to grow, market in ways we've never been able to, to spend the dollars effectively and wisely. 
for me, it does look like I'm in the spotlight a lot, but you have to take it and turn it and be the lighthouse in that dark place. Because sometimes being a female in a male-dominated industry is very dark. Be a bright beacon for the other women to see and to reach out to. That's how we make changes. Thank you guys for coming to the shop. We look forward to seeing you next time and come prepared for battle. What's next? Uh, world domination. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha